Hi all, I wanted to do a comparison for you of the Rebecca Minkoff Mini Mab Taupe which I've got here in the purple Safiano leather. This colour is called Plum. And this little Rebecca Minkoff Micro Avery Taupe, again in the Safiano leather, but this one is in a red shade. They are both quite similar bags. They both have a long crossbody strap which is fully adjustable and can be removed. They both have the MAC styling to the front, um, although only the Mini Mab Tote has the pocket. There's no pocket on the Micro Avery Tote under there. And on the back, they both have the Rebecca Minkoff logo on the hardware. So what I'll do is I'll show you what they look like when worn side by side. This is what they both look like side by side. So they're both really nice in the crook of your arm or handheld. They are such a cute little bag. I really like the cross body straps on them both. You can adjust them and you can wear them over the shoulder. This is what they look like when they're worn over the shoulder. So you can see I've adjusted them to both be about the same height on me. And then you can also put the strap over and wear them cross body as well. And this is what they both look like when worn crossbody. And now what fits inside the bag. So while they're quite a similar size, the you can probably see better when I hold them up by the base. They are quite a similar width. But the thing with the Micro Avery tote on the bottom is it's a wider bag and then the side panels actually expand out a little bit further. So you don't get that on the Mini Mab tote. So I find that the Mini Mab tote holds less. The Micro Avery does have this zip closure, but with the Mini Map, it's just got this little clip closure over the top there. I can fit a lot more in the Micro Avery bag than I can in the Mini Map. So I've got things in the Micro Avery like the sunglasses, a little pouch you can put like lipstick and lip balm and stuff in, my car keys, and you'll notice in here that my well, it's kind of sort of squished a bit down so it fills up the bottom part of the bag. Whereas when I try and put the wallet in the mini map top, you can see here that the sides aren't wide enough to begin with and it's really hard and there's no way that I can squish this down flat like I can in the micro Avery and that does then limit what else I can put in this bag. So again, the mini map has the little pocket, I can put that there. And then when it comes to things, you kind of sort of have to stack them a little bit more. So I could maybe kind of squish this in here. And then my glasses can kind of squish in here. But then it makes it really difficult to get my wallet out. <laughs> because you've got to squeeze it through. Oops, sorry for knocking the camera. It's really a two-handed to get the wallet out. Or you can just leave it standing up like that. So I find that what I do is I tend to carry the absolute bare minimum when I've got this mini map tote bag so that it is easier just to get my wallet in and out of the bag. I'm not worried about things falling down the side and not being able to reach things. So I do tend to simplify things when I'm carrying the mini map tote and just carry the wallet and keys inside of it. So I do find myself putting more in the micro Avery bag than I do in the mini map bag. Just because it is a lot wider, it's got more surface area on the bottom which helps with getting things in and out of the bag easily. But in terms of looks, I think they're both such adorable little bags. They're both structured small bags with crossbody strap that makes them really cute practical. I love that they come in bright colours and the Safiano leather means it's really easy to keep clean because you can just uh, wipe it with a baby wipe. Which as we all know is a, is a mum staple, clean things with baby wipes. They're both really cute similar bags. I think the Micro Avery is a little bit easier for getting things in and out of and just due to the, the wider shape it is does make it easier to fit a lot more in. So if you've looked at the Mini Mab tote and thought maybe that it is a little bit too small for you then this is not much bigger but it's still the perfect size for fitting a little bit more in. They're both great bags. I'm really glad that I have them both even though they are quite similar designs. They have the beautiful Safiano leather, which makes it so easy to keep clean, especially when I'm around my kids. And of course, the long crossbody strap, which is a mom essential for me. So that was my short and sweet review of both of the bags. 
I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, you can give me a big thumbs up. If there's anything that I haven't already answered or you have any other questions, you can leave them in a comment down below. If you hit the red subscribe button, I'd love you to subscribe. You'll be notified every time I upload a new video, which is once a week. Thank you very much for watching.